Hey guys, how you doing? My name is TJ and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a website for your app idea. Now, a lot of people reach out to me in the comments or through email pitching me their, their app ideas and ultimately asking me to come on board and help them build the idea. So, the thing is, before you spend thousands of dollars trying to pay a software engineer to build your app idea for you, the first thing that you should do and that you can do on your own is to actually build a website for your app idea and try to see if you can get traffic to your website and when people get to your website try to see if you can get them to actually give you their email so that you can notify them when your app idea is ready so you doing these things one saves you time so that you don't go wasting time trying to chase down software engineers to build your idea for you and it also saves you thousands of dollars so being able to build a website for your app idea is something that you can do on your own without necessarily needing to learn how to code and that's what i'm going to show you today in this video by showing you how to build your website using wix just an fyi this video is sponsored and the sponsor is wix so i'm going to be showing you how to navigate their platform and pick a template for your website and ultimately build it and also set up email collection as well so that you can grab emails from people that are visiting your website. So pull up your computer and follow along with me. Real quick, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also feel free to comment below any questions that you have as I'm going through this tutorial. All right guys, so it's time to start building our website with Wix. I am going to be building a website for my for my old business called Backdrop and I call it old because I actually launched it last year around this time in March right when COVID-19 started and the lockdown shut down operations for Backdrop. So now I am going to be building this website just to kind of use it to gauge if people are still interested in the idea and to see how many people I can I can get to actually sign up with it, right? So in terms of Wix our goal is to find a template that we can use to inform and educate people about backdrop and to also get emails in terms of signups. So along the way, I'm going to be showing you all of the different aspects of the Wix editor and just helping to educate you on how to use Wix to build your website overall. Make sure that you have your laptop out and follow along in this tutorial. And here we go. So the first thing that you want to do is to just obviously go to wix.com slash Tolu versus TJ and make sure that you create a sign up. Okay, so once you sign up and sign in, this is going to be the first site that you see in the Wix platform. And this is the page where you can actually start to create your website. Before we begin, let me just tell you guys briefly about the app idea that I'm going to be building a website for. Backdrop is the 24-7 luggage storage and delivery service. So now I'm going to be creating this website to try to just present information about Backdrop, what the app is and how it works, and also provide a way for people that are interested in the service to be able to sign up to get notified once Backdrop actually launches again. So to start to create our website, you just click create new site. That will not ask you what type of website do you want to create. So we want to create a business website. The next screen that you are going to see is, is this page where it is asking you, how do you want to create your, your website? Do you want to use the Wix ADI, which is ADI stands for artificial design intelligence. Now this is where the Wix platform will ask you a few questions about your business. And from that, it'll actually build the website for you. Or the other option that you have is to use the Wix editor. Now, using the Wix editor gives you access to a plethora of templates to choose from, and it also gives you fine grain control. Like it gives you full control to be able to edit any and every aspect of the website that you choose. So that is going to be the one that we go with today. So just click choose a template. And this is the page where we are going to be looking through to kind of see what type of templates that, that we want. So feel free to take your time on this page. Now, since Backdrop is an app, let's see what type of templates they have for different apps. Startup company. Oh, so this one already catches my eye because of the how it works section that it has here. So I'm going to click view and this is going to show me like a quick little demo of what the website looks like and I think I can work with this so far, right? Because again, my goal is to just have a website that I can inform 
and potentially grab email and contact information for interested users. And this website seems to have it all. So I'm going to click edit and this is going to bring us to the Wix website editor. Now, if you want, Wix actually provides a quick little introduction video to the Wix editor. So make sure to check this out if you're interested. I am just going to start to work on my website immediately. Let's just take a quick glance through our web page. One, this is where I'm going to write backdrop, which is the name of the app. And I don't really have a logo yet, so I'm just going to delete this portion. But this is where I'm going to provide a quick one liner about what backdrop does, just so people are aware as to what the service is. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to change out this image for an image that speaks more to the actual business and app idea that I'm trying to launch. Let's start to actually edit this website. The first thing that we need to do is to change from the template website name polystat to backdrop or whatever your business or app idea name is. So just make sure that you're like working along with me on this tutorial. So I'm going to change this from polystat to backdrop. And like I said, I don't have a logo yet, which is why I don't want to have an image yet for this idea. But I'm going to now take this and and drag it to be a lot closer to that line. Boom. So now it's backdrop. Awesome. So here I want to double click so that I can edit this text. The information I want to put there is that backdrop is a 24 seven luggage storage and delivery service. I want to change this image to be more relevant to the business idea that I have. And I actually already have some images on my desktop and Wix makes this real easy for you to upload your own custom images, right? So if I just click on this image and I click change image, that will not give me the option to be able to upload my own image. And as you can see, the Wix editor actually gives you a lot of options in terms of different places that you can upload images from either from your Wix account, Google Drive, Facebook, Instagram, etc. But I'm just going to upload it from my computer right now because I already have this folder of my images out and this is the image that I want to use. So let that upload. All right. And click choose image. So now if I scroll down, I, I don't need this image here. So I'm just going to right click and delete it keep scrolling. So how does backdrop works? Well, step one is pickup. Step one, the first thing that you have to do with backdrop is set your pickup time and location and the number of items that you have and a backdrop driver will be assigned to your pickup request, right? So let's put that information for step one. Awesome. So now step two storage during pickup, the backdrop driver will actually seal your luggages with tamper proof zip ties and take your items to a secure storage location. So I'm going to update the text with that information. So now step three, drop off. Now, when it comes to drop off, a backdrop driver will meet you at your drop off time and location to return your items back to you with the tamper proof seals in place still. So let me update that with the relevant information. Awesome. We're like almost halfway through with it and I don't really need this section. So I'm going to delete this as well. And then I'm going to drag this up to scoop this in. So if you just click on that at the bottom and scoot it up. So let's move on to the next section and see if we need it. So yeah, I don't need this about section either. So I'm just going to right click and delete this section as well. And I don't need this client section either. So I'm going to right click and delete it. I don't need to stay in touch. So I'm going to right click on this and delete it as well. Now, this is the section that I'm actually interested in. This is where I can gather user information from people visiting my website. So instead of request demo, I want to be clear as to why they should give me their information. And the reason why is so that they can be notified for when my app actually launches. So I'm going to put that text there to let them know that. And I don't need this text area here, so I'm just going to right click and delete this as well. I don't really want them writing messages either. I just want them to submit their email and first name. So here we can actually add a new field. And the field that we want to add is a first name field. And we don't need this paragraph field. So I'm just going to right click on this one and delete it. And then I'm going to drag my first name field up to be right underneath the email field. 
perfect so now I need to move up my submit button so I'm gonna move this up and I want to style this a little bit to just make it stand out a lot more so if you click on this submit button so we're gonna click to design and this will actually give us a bunch of different like button design options that we can choose from and I'm really liking this one <laughs> I like this one a lot so I'm gonna click that and X out and you see that that already updated the way that my that my button looks but I want to move it over a bit so it's a bit easier to see okay so when I move it over that's good I want to actually edit this text inside of this button so I'm gonna click the design again and click customize design so this is where I can actually edit you know like the text the border the color etc so I want to make the text bigger let me see there we go so we have the font size there and we can just kind of you know drag 29 to 25 is actually good this is it I like that actually and if we want to see what happens after users click submit we can actually set that action inside of the Wix editor by just clicking on this button and click settings and this actually brings up the option right after submit actions when visitors submit a form what do we want to do so right now I just want to say thanks for submitting the form but you see here that you have a bunch of other options that you can do as well you can link to an external URL if you want to direct users to a different website or or you can actually go to a, a different site page as well etc and you also have the option to set up payment forms using the Wix editor as well but for now we just want users to submit and when they submit this is the thank you message that they'll see thanks for submitting you'll be the first to be notified when backdrop launches I don't really need this section here at the bottom so I'm just gonna right click and delete this as well and I'm gonna update my footer text down here to say 2021 <laughs> by backdrop this is starting to look really good. The one thing that I want to do is to move that form up to be a lot closer to this. What we're gonna do is to just click inside of this box, hold down and drag up. So drag, then scroll. All right, we're here. So now everything seems to just kind of flow, right? I still see a, a few things that I need to fix. Uh, the first one being our menu bar. So if I click here, and click manage menu this is where I'll be able to actually remove some of these menu items that I don't need so I can remove product by just clicking on that and pressing delete and if we scroll all the way up we now see that the only options we have left are home and demo now I want to change demo to contact I'm just gonna double click on this and change that text and click done and boom so now at the top it's just home and contact that we have but we still have some of these sections that are still here that we want to actually delete so what you want to do is to hover over this line here right click and click delete and this will actually delete that section and we can scroll down to go to the features section as well and delete that too and boom everything now looks a lot better so this is our website backdrop 24 7 luggage storage and delivery service and we can actually preview this site so up here if you click preview this is now the preview mode of our website man this is looking good i like this site so something that i think i want to do with this website is change this color double click on this text this teardrop with the a font here if you click on that that will now give you the option to change the color so i'm actually liking this dark navy color here I'm gonna click that I'm gonna apply that color to all of the other turquoise or teal text areas as well so I'm gonna go to my how it works steps and update the colors here as well okay so everything is looking good oops so I realized that I need to match the colors in this section as well so I'm gonna go in and just do the same steps to update the text color now I want to also update the colors for the form as well right so i'm just going to click on the email and click this paintbrush icon that says design and this is where we can actually come in and customize the design again what we want to do is actually change the color of the border 
So if we click the border, this is where that teal color is again. So click on that and we can make it the same navy blue color that we're working with. And I'm just gonna go in and do the same thing for first name as well. Now, we also have to do the same thing for the button just so that we have everything following the same color scheme. So click on the button, click the design option, customize design, do the fill, right? Cause you see that this button is actually filled in with a background color. So we want this background color to be that same navy blue. I see that that submit text is a bit hard to read. So I want to edit that text. Click in there and I click my design, customize design, and I go to the text. And this is where we can change the text color. The best color here, because of this dark background, is to just use white. So I'm just gonna use a white font color here. And it looks good. And now let's click preview to see what this website actually looks like so far. This is good. I am really happy and excited about this website. But we have one more thing to do, and that is to publish our website. So come up here and click publish and that's it. So our website is now published and it's live online at this URL. So if I click view site, this will now take me to where my site is at. As you can see right now, Wix actually creates a domain for me, but Wix offers a domain service to where you can buy a domain, like a custom domain to connect your website to. So let's say let's say that I wanted to buy backdrop.com if it's still available. I can actually do that within the Wix platform and connect it to my website. So people just go to backdrop.com and it automatically takes them to this beautiful website that we just created. And I'm sure that you guys see how intuitive the Wix editor is. You know, for me, like this was a very seamless process and I did it real time with you guys actually. So that's it. If you have any questions about the Wix editor or just in general about the Wix tutorial, like feel free to comment your questions down below. And again, make sure that you click the link in the description to get started creating your Wix website today.